what's up YouTube I'm gonna get it now I got a goodie we're gonna talk about how the you know, guidelines to buy in suits and how you should approach it and I'm gonna talk about some stuff about pricing but overall like if you want to buy a good suit trust me a good brand will cut your body well and like if you have a lot of physique you know upper body wise you want kind of a v-neck suit like a European designed Italian fit suit is perfect you definitely want to go like overstock.com check out Italian fit and you know the athletic fit and slim fits always good too those are actually better for a younger person you know if you're not overweight those are a good buy and personally I'm recommending Giorgio Frielli from overstock.com they have phenomenal ratings on a lot of their suits and they're very good quality I mean people do not complain about that but Overall, when it comes to suits, let's talk about, like seriously, what do you want to wear? What color do you want people to see on you? There are so many styles nowadays. You know, you have your two, and I, I'm personally wearing a three-button one. Always keep the bottom unbuttoned. Just a tip, that's what you want to do. That's what we do when it comes to wearing this kind of stuff. I mean, overall, if you're going to buy a suit, you want to make sure that it fits well. But importantly, you want to look at where you're going to wear it. Like for work, charcoal and gray is good. Now, black stripe is okay, but black stripe is, to some people, it's a little bit loud. So it's important to have, like, if you're going to do black stripe, make sure that you have a shirt that matches the stripes. Like if you have gray stripes in that suit, it will go perfectly with a white shirt and gray tie. Or if you have a black suit with baby blue stripes, make sure you have a blavy blue shirt to match it and then you can make it work perfectly I mean it's I personally when I match a, a suit with a tie and a shirt do the thirds rule like if you had a black suit you could go perfectly black suit black shirt white tie that's one good match but another thing is like make sure that you have just a little bit of the color in the shirt in the tie but not enough so it looks like a uniform you know you don't want to wear blue on blue but you want to have enough blue in the tie to match the shirt so they don't clash and I'm gonna get a few examples so right here we have a gray suit so I'm gonna ask you right now what do you want to match do you want to have a shirt and tie there the main attraction or do you want to focus on the tie I personally I like the tie I mean I used to wear a lot of colored shirts but the tie can be a real attention grabber and so like honestly I don't think it's a brand of the suit but you know a good tie will always work like check out Versace ties on eBay if you want to see something really cool they make really good designs but like for a suit with this kind of gray here's a, a tie a little bit of paisley floral kind of a vintage style it's definitely thinner and it works quite well with this and you know this has gray maybe a slightly different tone but if you have a white shirt with that or if you have this tie with a black shirt it will go with just about anything. This really works better with black. It really stands out. And then you have kind of a vintage paisley too. And you know, jack are woven with some gray. And basically, you know, these all will work well together. So I mean, overall, you either want to match the tie to the shirt a little bit, or you want it to match the suit with a white shirt. Or black shirt if it really stands out against it like black on black and white tie is really good these days and if you want to look presidential you know the red white and blue is perfect if you can get a white shirt and have like a red tie with a blue suit red and blue go perfectly together now we got a blue shirt so I'm going to show you some ties that will actually go really well with it this kind of style first of all like if you have some stripes but do you have a little bit of that blue matching in the tie but it's different enough that it's not going to stand out too much goes perfectly another one that you can try you know if you have if you want patterns as long as the pattern matches the tie enough but this is kind of a dark blue so blue and blue I don't know if they work so well together maybe you want to try it but I probably wouldn't recommend that but you know just as some advice like yellow and blue this kind of brings it out you know kind of stands out from the shirt but it has just enough blue that matches 
And you know, another one nowadays that really works well is pink and blue. Like if you can have enough of the pink to stand out a little bit, but then the blue kind of matches the shirt, this will go perfectly with a shirt like that. I mean, blue is a very common color nowadays, so you know, you just gotta make sure, you know, like about one third of this tie, let's just, you know, basically three stripes, one out of three of the stripes is blue, so it's basically like one third of this. It's not gonna be too much blue to overdo it, but like if you want a different kind of look, this kind of has similar blue, but you know, the the pattern will work well. This is pretty common, you know, people tend to wear, you know, the geometric and they make sure just a small amount of geometric dots have the same color of the shirt. And you can do that with purple or any color, but also you can have like, if it has silver, it will sh kind of shine over the shirt. And that's one thing, like silver and gold on blue when it has just enough blue to match the shirt are actually really good. And, you know, like patterns, again, you know, this has a majority of it is white, but there is some blue in these patterns. And it does match the shirt a little bit. You just don't want to wear too much of the same thing together. And if you want different, you know, with a blue, you can wear magenta, you know, kind of a dark reddish with the blue. It's very formal, kind of elegant, masculine. I'm in control. I'm the president. You know, blue and red tend to be very status-oriented colors to wear. So blue and red are always going to be very elegant, and which is what I'm going to discuss next. But, you know, first of all, okay, does this match the shirt? I don't think so. It's way too much blue there. And it has a lot going on. I mean, you could try it with the shirt. I would probably wear this more with a white shirt because it would, it would just look better. In this, when you have ties with all this design going on, people won't know the design in the tie, or they won't even notice it if there's a colored shirt. It's just better to be worn with a white shirt. And now we have, let's look at this, a striped shirt. You know, like black pinstripes, but these are kind of loud stripes, you can see it. So. This is going to be harder to lay a tie on. This probably wouldn't work so well with a tie. It would work very well with just a white shirt, white suit without a tie. But, for example, like if you try, we have mostly black, but we have some gray and white. So, this has some gray and white. Let's just see if it matches the shirt. Now, I'm not going to take any, I'm not going to make any assumptions. We're just going to look at this. And, Honestly, they kind of clash because you have stripes on stripes. You don't want to do that. Stripes can stripes just looks tacky. And so a shirt like this, the only tie you could wear is white. And then that way it kind of matches the stripes on it. But, you know, like a shirt like this, if you really want to wear a tie with it, it's going to have to be just like a single color tie. Maybe it has some woven pattern into it, but it has to be single color. You don't want to wear like this would not work well with that kind of shirt because they would just clash completely. But you know if you had a tie like this like a jacquard woven with like paisley design woven but it didn't have any other color then it would be fine. Now on the other hand if you are trying to match things to a cream shirt this one, there's a, again, we can match this kind of like blue. It depends. I mean, you can do this any way you want. I mean, cream is almost like white where you can wear almost anything with it. So, first of all, this goes perfectly because it has enough goldish brown to match the cream in this shirt. And on the other hand, again, this tie will go well with it also, but it may be a little bit too much in the color so you might want to kind of diversify it and this has slightly different colors this has enough of the cream to match the shirt but it also has some brown and you know kind of grayish 
So it just depends. I mean, do you want stuff in the same color range, or do you want to have a little bit of variation? Because actually, the best thing to match with it is something like this. You have a little bit of red that stands out over this cream, but then little gold dots or gold diamonds that match it perfectly. And, you know, then basically you have a good package there. Just make sure, you know, you don't wear like this with a pink suit, you know, or it would be too much. But like with a conservative color like gray or charcoal, just about any color shirt will work. As long as it's not a bright color. Like you would not want to wear, you know, a blue suit with a pink shirt and a green tie or a green shirt or one of the purple shirts with a blue suit because it probably wouldn't match so well but it might depending on the suit too and that's another thing we're going to get into also I'm going to get back to suits but right now I want to talk about matching top and again like this perfect match and even here like it goes perfectly with it but it has enough other colors because see the art is you find something that looks a little bit like the color in the shirt, but it stands out against the shirt. Now, if the shirt has stripes, you know, you don't want to overdo it. And you want something that's a little bit like the stripes in the shirt, but it doesn't take attention away. And so, like, if you want a white shirt, you know, white shirts are good if you have a tie with a lot of design that would clash on another shirt. But otherwise, I mean, it's all about personal preference. So that's just one thing about this. And also with neckties, we're gonna get a little bit into design too. Like Paisley's are definitely vintage. Paisley's came out earlier in the 1900s. I think in the 60s it really started to pick up. But traditionally neckties were also very thin at the same time. And so you had ties that were like 2.5 inches and they were very dark and they didn't have a lot of designs to them and then the 50s they start diversifying now i'm going to get into the suit part and this is really important like the lapels on the suit first of all like if you see a suit like double breasted with peak lapel peak lapels are an elegant style and double breasted suits really do look better to a lot of people i mean double breasting is very elegant you know, came about in the 40s is when it really got big. And people don't wear it as much, but if you can see one that works well, it's a great buy. And like with lapels. And also with quality. Like here's a Magic Johnson suit. Found this on eBay. Good deal. But like you see, peak lapels. Peak lapels have kind of a quality of elegance. But you see like a suit like this. The quality is really good. I mean, it is not going to fall apart. It's going to last a long, long time. And that's the next part about this I'm going to get into a lot. I mean, this is a very well-made suit, and I'm not the, it is not getting messed up at all whatsoever. And see, just hang it right back up. It's not even going to get wrinkled. It looks the same as new, even though it fell back. See, like... The quality is very important. A cheap suit is more expensive than an expensively made one because a cheap suit might have the zipper come undone in the worst possible place and you end up getting fired or it starts to fade and fall apart and you just can't wear it after two uses. So that's one big thing to consider. And now for one of the most important things is what do you want? Like color is important. Now, navy blue tends to be a popular design and color by the president. And the grays and charcoal are all good. Now, brown is also good. It's kind of a businessy color. Like if you're in business meetings and stuff, you know, tan suits go well. I mean, in this day and age, a lot of people like the tan and the lighter browns. And that's actually good to wear. And like with gray, you know, you can have some dark grays, and then you can have lighter grays and gray stripe. And you can have black suits that have gray stripes in them. So, I mean, the blacks and the grays tend to be conservative, and anything goes with them. And, you know, when you look at the colors, there's no real clear color. 
because you have a lot of different stripes and you also have shadow stripes. And shadow stripes are basically where you just have woven stripes into the fabric, but they don't have any different colors. It's just like, you know, basically the pattern that it's stitched with. And so shadow stripes can't, are the only kind of stripes you can wear with other stripes because it's just a pattern thing. But when it comes to good suits, a good suit will fit the body better. A cheap suit will look like garbage after, you know, you get it and it's just like a big baggy suit and it's just not going to fit well and the pants are just not going to the zipper will come undone the buttons come out the fabric will come undone and the stitching can fall apart and you can end up having suits that just fall apart and they they fade and they wrinkle and they're just useless so it's very important like to look at the brands and stuff. And look at the material because a good tie and a good suit's gonna have a heavy material it's gonna last. And you can see a suit that you get for good what you think is a good price. Two wears and it's falling apart. You see something in Goodwill, it looks like it was made back in the 70s. It's some brand it's not around anymore. And wow, it still looks will outlast anything you see in the store. So it just depends on the quality. And basically, you know, it's important, like, if you buy a cheap shirt and you throw it in the washing machine, wash with your clothes, you paid more for that shirt than you did for the expensive one because now it just ran all the colors and stained everything else. So it's just basically important to watch the quality. And thanks for watching.